the second Amsterdam official trailer came out and I'm gonna react to it right now. In the first trailer I found out that there's no Amsterdam shots unfortunately. I don't think I'm gonna be surprised in this trailer with Amsterdam shots. I'm now just assuming this movie is filmed in the USA. I'm not in Amsterdam. The first trailer was awesome. This trailer is a little bit shorter. Half shorter. Who knows, maybe we're gonna see something nice. Maybe we're gonna be surprised. I hope we're gonna be seeing a few new nice shots. Maybe a few surprises. Something about the story. Let's head into it. And also thank you for the people who bought me a coffee at Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you so much. I'm gonna drink a sip right now. It tastes good when the coffee is donated. No, it tastes much better. We're in a bit of a predicament. The man was killed. Please take that we did it. Sorry, just October 7th, so it was first gonna be November. So a month earlier. We need to clear our names. Oh, well, that's something. He was killed because of something that he had seen. Because of an organization who want to rule the world. Rule the world. We need you good people to help us out. It's the only hope that we have to get out of this situation. Let's hope this goes well. Things have gotten more complicated. Do you want to start this? Drinks on me. Literally. <laughs> There's more where this came from. Let's go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, rated R. Did someone slap you, Bert? Because you have a red mark on your face. I got slapped. I got punched. Oh, no, no, no. Only in theaters October 7th. There was this moment when he said, let's go to Amsterdam. If you didn't see me react to the previous trailer, watch this video right here. I mean it seriously because, you know, for context, okay? I assume you watched me react to this trailer if you watch this video right now. We saw a few new shots. I mean, there's quite some new shots. I don't know if you guys know, but usually when people are making a movie, there's people editing the movie. Huh? One or two people are editing that movie. But people who make the trailers are separate editors. And sometimes different trailers can also be different editors so different editors pick different shots from the movie that's how it goes here at the end when john david washington uh, says let's go to amsterdam let's for one second see that one more time let's go to amsterdam yeah my feeling right now maybe they are actually going to amsterdam so you're telling me there's a chance Okay, so maybe not for real, maybe just in the movie that they didn't go for real to Amsterdam because I don't remember anything in the news about Margaret Robbie or Christian Bill here in Amsterdam and John David Washington. Well, I didn't know who it was well, from Tenet, the movie on Amazon. But maybe they're really going to Amsterdam and that's maybe also the reason why they're showing just these shots in the trailer again. Because this is like the first 20, 30 minutes of the movie maybe that this trailer... You know, spiled up of shots from the beginning of the movie. That would be great. My first feeling at this, uh, when I looked at this trailer uh, was a little bit disappointment. When going through these shots, it was just the same shots. We saw the shot already, Robert De Niro sitting in his room. We also saw them here walking outside in the previous trailer, I mean. Mike Myers at the table, we saw that as well. We didn't see... Uh, this particular shot, but we saw that with the glass of water in his face. Taylor Swift, now she's turning her head. In the previous trailer, we only saw her face really short. I think she has a re really small role as well. Unless she's going to Amsterdam and she actually has a big role in Amsterdam or in Amsterdam. Amsterdam? Sure. Amsterdam. And maybe that's why she's uh, so short in the trailer. I don't know Taylor Swift. I've read on the internet that some people are a little bit disappointed that Taylor Swift is here in this movie because it's Taylor Swift and they don't like it, blah, blah, blah. I know a few of her songs because we're forced to listen to it just anywhere you go. Huh? She's the one from Roar or is that Katy Perry? I don't know. Oh, no way. That's Katy Perry. So actually now, I honestly, I cannot think of a song from Taylor Swift. Anyways, long story short or short story long, if she acts okay or good, then it's okay for me. Remember Beyonce in Austin Powers was also awesome. I should warn you, Foxy, 2002 is very different. <laughs> well, the future better get ready for me because I'm Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. So he says, hey, let's go to Amsterdam. What does he say? Let's go to Amsterdam. He says, let's go to Amsterdam. Next shot, you see them running here to this boat. And this boat is going to Amsterdam. So actually, 
this is very promising. And apparently, so this story is based on true events, but we don't know exactly uh, which events yet. Uh, there's a murder, they're being falsely accused, and there's three things which I really hate. Liars, racists, and being falsely accused. They, in this movie, are being falsely accused of murder, and that's why they have to flee to Amsterdam. If I'm correct, I mean, that's what we think now, after watching the previous trailer. I'll put the first trailer up right here, in case you didn't watch it yet. Even though you heard me talk that you should see it first, here you can see me react to the first trailer, which is actually a much better trailer and a much better reaction. I really had a good day that day. Thanks for the coffee, everyone. Let's go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam.